Hey guys, I'm trying to get this. Uh, that's a really bad angle. Mm -mm. Trying to get this to work. Sorry, guys. Um, you guys are gonna probably hear some background noise and stuff like that. So I'm actually in my office right now. Just took a shower. Today is Monday, October 26th, and today is the day of surgery. Um. Yes, I'm a little scared. I'm just gonna take off my jewelry while I'm with you guys. And again, don't don't mind the background noise. Everyone's getting ready. The dogs are being fed. Um, I didn't bother closing the door because it's just too early to even care. Um, I got stuff I'm gonna put in a baggie. These are actually really good, by the way, for um, protein shakes. I found these at the dollar store. They're sure fresh bags. Whatever. Um, so anyway, I wanted to come to you guys with an update, I guess. Um, I did the 10-day liquid diet that my doctor recommended, and I actually added two days to it because I started the same day my husband started his liquid diet. I just wanted to be supportive, and what's another two days, right? Yeah, another two days. So I've done a total of 12 days of liquid pre-op diet. I was allowed to have certain foods. I think I mentioned that in my last video, like I was allowed to have like two eggs a day and like maybe some slices of deli meat or some tuna or fish or whatever um, and some vegetables, but I didn't go as far as having a huge meal. For breakfast on Saturday, I actually made myself an extra egg and I added cheese to it. So I kind of cheat, I, I didn't kind of cheat, I cheated. And, uh, but that was what I chose to eat. And then for the rest of the day, I was on liquids. And, um, I pretty much just, you know, did my protein shakes or whatever. But I just made sure I had, you know, one last little breakfast with my daughter. Um, and I added an egg and some cheese. So, yeah. Um, I felt guilty afterwards. Like always. <laughs> um, but anyway, so... Today's the day. Today's the due day. Today's the day that I get surgery. It is actually, if I had the time, it's about 6 o'clock in the morning or 6.05. And I'm freshly out of the shower. I had to shower with Hyba Cleanse. It's, um, it's an antibacterial thing that most docs and surgeons recommend before you have surgery. So I did that last night and I did it again this morning. I smell like hospital the only thing that smells like soap is so i just did my skincare and washed up everything else before i put the hybrid cleanse on because you need it to be as clean as possible i'm wearing loose fitting clothing well this not so much but i'm just wearing a sports bra and some sweatpants and i got my handy dandy bite beauty in my bra because you got to warm it up in order to use it <laughs> um i'm only gonna moisturize and kind of get ready with you guys in a sense and again take off my jewelry um, I'm a little nervous. I think I was, I think I, I want to say I was the first time around that I did the surgery for my lap band. And, um, I don't know. I guess it's just because I have more adulting to do this time around that I'm a little bit more worried. So, eh, it is what it is. My husband's going in two days later. So, <laughs> probably be a hot mess then. No. Um, <clears throat> so anyway... I appreciate all you guys that have shown nothing but support, that we talk all the time, and that are rooting for me. Um, I really do appreciate that. So um, I'm very excited and nervous, but this is a part of my journey that I decided to take. And I want to be healthier, and I want to be happier, and I don't want to have to worry about every time I eat that I'm going to throw it up or that I'm going to get stuck and just sit there and look miserable even though I try not to um it's very hard for your family or people around you not to ask you what's up when they see you're uncomfortable or at least trying to hide something so yeah um I don't know it it is what it is so I'm actually gonna look at my phone so I can see my face here I'm only moisturizing my skin because I have really dry skin and it's only going to get drier in the hospital. So I'm using my Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel. This stuff is great. This one's for extra dry skin. I even recommend it for people with oily skin, especially at night. 
I don't think it has any oils or anything like that. Maybe it does. I don't know. But I know the first three ingredients are water, dimethicone, glycerin. So those are good ingredients. So yeah. I don't know. New journey, guys. What do you think? Um, yeah, no, it's it's pretty crazy right now. <clears throat> well, everyone's like quiet. Like yesterday I was on like just clears and I had the worst headache. I was just not feeling good. I think I took in a total of 90 calories and I was like, oh my god, like I ate like a piece of cheese or something. No, I think cheese even has more calories than that. But um yeah, so I was not feeling well. And then I was watching The Walking Dead. No spoilers here. Um, and then I went shower. Well, no, I showered before then. And then I went to bed, like, all, like, emotional and tired. And I was flushed but cold. And uh, so, yeah, I mean, I had a restless night's sleep. I woke up, like, an hour and a half before my alarm went off. And, yeah. Oh, I wanted to show you guys. I got these slippers from Walmart. <laughs> Walmart. And this was in the men's section. So these are pretty large for what they are. And they're comfortable as shit. Like, I just tried one on because I was like, I need something to walk around in, you know, post op. So I always recommend that if you're getting any kind of surgery, that you bring comfortable, loose fitting clothes because you never know what happens. Um, you never know if you're going to be walking. So I have to extra pair of pants, underwear. Okay. You just always need a pair of underwear and then some comfortable shoes. Ones that aren't too big on you. Hold on. My alarm's going off now. Now. So anyway, um, so I'm going to finish up getting ready. This is just an update on what's happening. It's, it's a vlog, I guess. So um, I should be in there within the next half an hour or so. We're just going to deal with the boys and stuff like that. Just bring some Mac Fix Plus. Homemade Mac Fix Plus. Um just locks in the moisture like right there so yep um oh i lost a total of because i will be coming to you guys with numbers i lost a total of i'm trying to do the math 13 pounds i want to say 12 and a half 13 pounds on this liquid diet so I lost a pound a day that's blue shaking so I lost a pound a day and yeah super excited about losing a pound a day couldn't do this right hi blue okay no no hi blue okay so yeah I'm gonna finish off getting ready I would probably do a video once I'm out of being so groggy just for haha's I have friends that actually want to see me looking groggy <laughs> um so yeah my necklace. I got this necklace before surgery. Love it. I wear it all the time. I get nothing but compliments on it. Or it's a easy way to look at my rack. But it's higher up that, you know, I don't have to worry about it. <laughs> but yeah, I absolutely love this necklace. I don't know where I got it from. I got it years, a couple years ago, like a month before I had surgery. And it actually works. It's an hourglass. And there's some diamond crystals in it. It's kind of filthy right now. But yeah. Put on my makeup in a baggie. And yes, I'm taking it with me because I got to look like myself eventually. Uh, too bad I can't go in with a full face of makeup. Anyway, guys, I love you so much. Thank you so much for tuning into this probably long as rambly nothing video. I love you guys very much. And I will see you guys in my next update. Wish me luck. Bye.